statement by answering the question, who is my neighbor? Love your neighbor as yourself. So somebody, well, who's my neighbor? Anyway? Luke 10 25 tells us, we know the story. In the Midrash of the Good Samaritan, Yeshua answers the question, who is my neighbor? By telling the story of a Samaritan who reaches out to a Jew while investing his own safety, time, and money. We need to remember that in those days, Jews and Samaritans had very, very acrimonious relationships. They didn't like each other. The story resembles that of Jonah's mission. You know, when we think about Jonah, we think, oh yes, he got swallowed up by big fish. But Jonah was not really a prophet by trade. He was a politician, he was a senator. The reason why he didn't want to go to Nineveh is because that represented the northern people, the country of them, and at that time they were actually attacking and harassing the northern villages of Israel. And here this this, this Ninevites he had to deal with in government and complaints from the northern villages, you know, he, he, God tells him, no, go tell them if they don't stop, I'm going to give them a spanking. He says, no, I'm not going to tell them that, go give them a spanking. He didn't want to give them a message, give them a chance to repent, you know. Jonah's mission was that of telling them off so that they would avoid punishment. But Jonah didn't want them to avoid punishment. He wanted, them to, he wanted to throw the book at them. When the Ninevites repented, we are told that Jonah was very displeased and angry. And he said, Now I don't know, didn't I say this would happen when I was still in my own country? That's why I tried to get away to Tarshish so ahead of time. I knew you were a God who is merciful, compassionate, Slow to anger, rich in grace, grace, and that you relent from afflicting punishment. Whoa! In Judaism, there's what you call the 13 attributes of God. It's all about mercy. It's funny, they say that the God of the Old Testament is Lord Justice. It's funny. <laughs> Even Jonah knew better. And then Jonah 4 3 says, Therefore, I don't like, please take my life from me. It's better for me to be dead than alive. He didn't want Hashem to show mercy to his enemy. Then but Hashem said to him, Is it right for you to be angry? Adonai is slow to anger. And the anger of man, Solomon says, does not accomplish the justice of God. May we. We here, who are created in the likeness of the Almighty God, reflect these qualities and remember the words of the quintessential Jew, he who is the Messiah, the glory, and the King of Israel. May we learn through him how to live in Hashem's Torah, how to live in a way that we're made in His image, that we prove that we are made in His image. Yeshua taught, taught, us to be, taught, taught us to do so by using the rabbinic principle of setting fences around the commandments. F fences placed in our hearts and in our minds. The fence for not killing, this is in Matthew 5, 6, 7. The, the fence for not killing is to not even allow anger in our hearts. The fence against adultery is to not even allow the mind to wander through the eye. The fence against breaking vows is to not make them at all. And the fence against disobeying, love your neighbor as yourself, one of the great, greatest commandments of the Torah is, is to love your enemy and pray for those who persecute you. He said, if we do so, then you will become children of your Father in heaven. Made in his image. For he makes his son to shine on good and bad people alike. And he sends rain to the righteous 
and the unrighteous alike? What reward do you get if you only love those who love you? Even tax collectors do that. Be ye therefore perfect, as your Father in heaven is perfect. And this will end our service and our prayer hope that it was a blessing and an edification to you all. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat shalom.